Okay, I just took a drink, so maybe I can calm down for a few minutes. But it is the Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And good night. I need my magnifying glasses over there. I don't know if I remember what color it is. And it didn't come in a box. It just came with the plastic stuff. I'll put the name of it down here because we tried three different ones. <laughs> three. Three different ones to see which one I wanted because I did not want to match my skin or my foundation. I wanted it to be brighter. So I got this color. Let me see if I can, uh, when I get out of this glare. Okay, this is called Sable. Out. And it comes just in the typical little wand, but it is beautiful. It's very serum-y, and I really like it. I don't think it's caking up. I have been really enjoying the Louise Young little palette that I got. And so I was thinking today, you know, sometimes I feel bad showing you some of these things if I really haven't tried them enough to be able to tell you. So hold off on, I feel good that you'll like all of Charlotte Tilbury stuff because I have used it basically all week. I think I got it Tuesday. Um, I feel good about the um, Marc Jacobs basically because I love the way it applies and I've heard other people's review. Um, but with the concealer, let me wear it and let me compare it to the other ones that I've gotten lately and I will let you know. But so far, so good on this and Ariel still does really like it. So if you've tried it too, let us know down below. And I love to see when you guys are like talking to each other and helping each other out. That's perfect. Okay, and then this is something new. As I got this out this morning, I thought, Lisa, why did you get this? You love your mascara already. I've got so many mascaras that I love. But she just talked about it so good. It's the new Stila mascara. It's called Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And they came out with a primer too that has the fibers. But I didn't that um, fibers kind of scare me with my contacts I do want to try that fiber mascara the fiber lash that one of my subscribers sent me and one day I might get brave enough to do that but so I just got the mascara and she said that it's better than better than sex mascara and it's very similar the huge lash and I did use it today and it was wonderful if you like a wand like this and you love big fat clumpy um statement lashes like it gave me big clumpy lashes but I ended up putting on my I wanted to really go with this look today so I put on my lashes my those ones that are just really big what are they um you guys know I've worn them the last couple of weeks I'll put the name of them right here but um house of lashes I can't remember the name of them but anyway I love these lashes but this worked really, really well. So I will use it like maybe in my next video when I don't wear lashes and let you see. It isn't as, um, it doesn't, it isn't as easy to get down to the like root of your lashes as it is with that CoverGirl. So I think the CoverGirl one with a base, as a base and maybe this over it would be dangerous. So we'll see. But um, so far I really like it. It was definitely, I could definitely see my lashes. Okay, so um, I'm going to take a break and get everything okay, together. I'm so scared I'm going to forget something. But this is one more package that I got this week from Estee Lauder. I told you it was a magnificent week. <laughs> and um, so they sent me their new matte lipsticks. It's the new Envy matte lipsticks. And they come out. I wrote it down this morning because I did not want to. I wore one of them in a picture gosh earlier in the week um let's see they are launching online on august 7th and of course i will put the link down below but they sent me a let's see introducing the new estee lauder pure color envy matte sculpting lipstick collection in collaboration with spokesmodel joan smalls please enjoy a sneak peek of the collection with a selection of shades picked just for you we'd love to hear what you think I love them. I have gotten just the best lipsticks this week. Okay, let me show you the one I have on today. I wore this yesterday. Is it yesterday? No. I wore this to our dinner on Wednesday night when John and I went to eat dinner. And Will went with us because Brooke was still out. We went to dinner with his friend from out of town. And I put this lip combo on and I was like, oh my gosh. This is like such a winning lip combo. I've got to wear it for you on Friday. This one is called Covetous Nude, and it's number 110, and I have it on with Lancome Ideal, and it is beautiful. 
it's a just a beautiful beautiful matte lipstick if you like um oh gosh just so pretty what can i compare this to it's prettier than honey love the texture of these is not dry it is like velvet it's very similar to the charlotte tilbury they're both kind of that modern matte they're the type that just won't make your lips look just cracked up kind of like the some of the mac ones do it is just beautiful and see how it has like that velvety kind of look to it it's just gorgeous and um so i wore it with lancome ideal but if you did not want as much of a lip line which i did blend this into it but if you would use the estee lauder nude it would be a beautiful lip or if you wanted to use more of a pink like the lancome natural mauve or the even the link the estee lauder nude lip liner would give you more of a pink color but if you want this i use the ideal okay and then i used another color earlier in the week and i think i posted it on my instagram um what color was it i can't remember um oh this is what it was i was thinking was it a red i remember thinking it was like something out of my comfort zone it was this one and i loved it it was neon azalea number 210 and you guys know that if i do wear a bright color a lot of times this is what i will wear it's kind of like the chanel coco pink or um what is the other one um, from MAC oh, that we will wear? I'll put the name if I think of it down there, but it is beautiful. And I wore this, I believe it was the day I got these. So I think it was like Monday or Tuesday. But look how beautiful that is. See how they've got um, like a sheen to them? They're that modern matte. I mean, these are the Envy matte. But um, so they're not, don't be afraid that they're going to make your lips look old or dry or pruney because they don't they have the most beautiful glow to them and i love this it's beautiful it's just a beautiful color okay so that is the um new neon azalea that's the first one i wore covetous nude um brooke wore one of these it was a real funky one yes it was this one this one is called desirous and it is dark it's almost like gothic looking and I told Brooke I said I am going to try that this is like something I would have never worn but they sent it to me and I think I'm going to try it with it's like a dark vampy it's like vamp do you guys remember Chanel vamp I have that lip liner but I might put it on with the Sienna lip liner from Chanel or I might even go to the Estee Lauder counter and see what lip liner they have to go with it but I think it would be a neat I think it would be like a 70s or maybe even a 90, 70s or 90s look lip. And I just think it's so pretty. And it looked really good on Brooke because she's young and she can pull off anything. But look how pretty it is. It does remind me of Vamp. I love that. Okay. These I haven't tried yet. This one is Unattainable, number 220. I love these. It has the real nice case with the magnet. Love that. Oh, yeah, this one is beautiful. Boy, my mom would look good in this. My mom looks good in these berry pinks. Oh, I love that. Oh, look how beautiful that is. What a good fall color. Here, let me back up. I love it. I need to be on QVC, don't I? <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Kind of like a... It's pink. It's definitely like a... Just a beautiful pink berry pink beautiful it reminds me of that one i used to wear so much in my 20s um and it was called it was by max factor and i loved it i went through tube after tube it was called sparkling bordeaux uh, if any of you wore it out there you know what i'm talking about that was the best lipstick and i wore it with the l'oreal berries and mauves roll up lip liner and that was my signature color okay this one is number 310 furious and oh yes oh gosh look how pretty that is wow that is beautiful it's like a true orangey red so let's put this it's a coral corally red look at the pigment i will wear this maybe i'll wear this tomorrow with my new um 
Current Elliott, not Current Elliott, my new Citizens jeans because I'm going to wear a top that I think is about this color. Look how beautiful that is. So you can see the color saturation and just the, they're just beautiful. So I do have some things for it. Well, gosh, you'll have to wait till um, August 7th to get these. So this week you could get the Charlotte Tilbury and then next week you could get these. At least try one of them. I know they'll have a color for you to like. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'll take a picture with my camera too. So I'm going to go wash this off and put a few things up and then I'll I want to right show back. you that is equally sentimental and I love it so much is, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but the artist that does these awesome paintings with the gold leaf, Sullivan, she is doing a new series of lips and I did not even know she was doing that. And so I just loved it. As soon as I saw her introduce it on the Instagram, I said, oh my gosh, put me on the list. I knew I wanted to print immediately. And what makes them even more fun is it has, they have her personality in them. A lot of them have gold teeth. And I love that because that's what I love about, that's like her signature thing is her, she's got just this awesome personality. Those of you who've met her and have seen her, you know, it's a fun, beautiful personality. She's She's just what I think, I mean, what I want to be. I mean, she's beautiful, fun, sweet, a good mom. She loves her animals. She has two of those little pigs. She has bunnies. She's just, I don't know, she's just everything and wrapped up in one. And she's talented. And she has started this new lips or grill or whatever collection. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll have to put the collection's name down here. But she had this thing on her Instagram to tag her and that you could be one of her lip muse where she does paintings of your lips. So I did it and I was searching through all my pictures and I knew I needed to find one where my teeth were showing because it's all about the lips and teeth. And the one that I found was one where I had done my makeup kind of like Rosie Huntington Whiteley and I entered and I never thought about it again, you know, of course, you know. I, of course, I wanted her to do it, but I never heard from her or anything. And then when we got to the party last week, she had done my lips. And she just gave me this yesterday. This is the original print. And Brooke and I went all over town trying to find someone who would frame this for me last night. And it was, they looked at me like I had lost my mind. Even if I bought a frame and everything already made, they still couldn't get it to me. For days or weeks so I'm gonna have this framed and it's my lips with a gold tooth I love it so much she mentioned to me that night she had this there with no gold tooth and she said I was thinking of putting a gold tooth and I said you do whatever you want because I love your taste so much I want you to do what you want to do and so I picked it up yesterday and this is how it looks and I love it it's my lips and they're even in the picture I'm tilted kind of like this. <laughs> I'll put the picture right here. Okay, so you can see I was kind of tilted and that's how they are. And that's like my teeth and everything and I love it. So this is the signed original and I'm going to have it matted and framed in the biggest, I want to find the biggest, most ornate gold frame that I can find. I think it would look so cool and I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to put it back here or if I'm going to put it over there or over there, but it's going to have a good spot in my room. So thank you so much Sullivan. This is like the best. It was rolled up and so I put it on the floor and I put, I sold my Jimmy Choo shoes that were too small. So I put that box of Jimmy Choo shoes and then I put my pillow, my monster pillow on it. And then I took the shoes downstairs this morning because I sold them and I looked over there and Sassy was laying on. You know how cats love to lay on something? I was like, oh my gosh. So I gently got her up and she didn't hurt it. So I'm, I put it back here and um, I'm going to take it somewhere, maybe even today, and have it framed. There's a frame shop that I didn't go to up here where I live and um, I'm going to see if they'll frame it for me and I just love it. And I even love the way this one has where like the paint dropped a little bit that makes it even better i got I one of it. these to show you guys she put it in her collection so this is like the print and they have these at oliver they have these my lips and then they have several other ones like um christy 
the beautiful girl at my party with the dark hair that I put on my Instagram, she won one of these prints. And the one she got is real pretty. It has real big peachy lips. And there's some with like a full grill. There's just all kinds. But this is mine. And she made prints of my lips. So I will put the link down below because Oliver has these. And um, so this would be so pretty like matted and framed or just like this but I just love it. So thank you, Sullivan. I don't know. I might have to buy that one too. <laughs> I like the small one and the big one. <laughs> okay. Um, one more thing, and I can see that this probably is going to end up be, you're probably already watching part two. So, okay. One more thing. The pair of shoes that I got last week, I ended up getting them late that afternoon. Thank goodness I was here because I had to sign for them. Okay. So I ordered them these quick. from Barney's. And one of my subscribers, oh goodness, um, Demi. I don't know, I forgot her YouTube name, but Demi is her name on um, Instagram. When I mentioned to you how much I loved my Jimmy Choo platform, they're my housewife, platform, patent, nude patent leather shoes. I told you that I had gotten, I got the 38 and I thought they would stretch out and they just wouldn't. I really needed the 38 and a half. And so I ended up selling those. Somebody got a good deal and some beautiful shoes. I think I'd only worn them twice. And um, I ended up, she messaged me that video and on Instagram and told me how much she loved these and how comfortable they were. And they are the Louboutin. And these are the New Very Privé 120 patent pumps. And I ordered them last week and had them overnighted so I would have them for my party because I wanted something... I don't know, I was wearing a really casual outfit because I wanted to be casual, but I wanted something new and special and kind of fancy. So I ended up ordering these and they are beautiful. And what really made me decide to get them is when I Googled the new very Privé pump or whatever, if you will, I, I pay attention to stuff like this. I pushed images and there was like Angelina Jolie, the Kardashians. Evidently, this is like a staple, kind of like the simple pumps or something. All of the people that were wearing these, they were, it was, it was not just pictures of them on the red carpet or something like that. It was pictures of them out and about, like um, with friends, shopping. Um, who else had these on? It was people, like there was a few people that were really practical type people. And I thought, you know, they must be pretty comfortable. So then I went on the purse blog and read about them and they are supposed to be one of the most comfortable Louboutins there are. Now I was able to wear them for about an hour and a half. It was probably two hours total when you figure um, by the time I wore them here, ran in and got cupcakes, took Brooke to her friends and did everything I did before I even got to the party. And then I took my good old Stuart Weitzman Nouveau and I ended up changing into those about, you know, about three fourths of the way through. But for the first time wearing them, I think that was pretty good. But um, they're beautiful, and they're very, John couldn't get over how skinny that heel was, and you don't feel it, and they've got such a good platform, and they're just gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. So, that was what I was waiting on. So, thank you so much for your help, Demi, on those, and um, I will be wearing these a lot. I noticed Bethany on New York Housewives, she wears these a lot with skinny jeans, and that was another reason I thought... I would love these is with my skinny jeans and boyfriend jeans and um, I ended up getting the open toe my Jimmy shoes were the closed toe and I just thought the open toe would maybe be a little bit more casual so I really like them and I mean patent leather nude that's my favorite anyway so that was my big purchase okay, of so last show, week well, first I'll show you this of course this is the dress from Cita and I think it is fabulous i mean it's even when you when i put it on i could not believe how much i liked it even more than i did in the picture or when i got it and um i, I love this because you can see the back of it and i had to just bring these just to show you look at these shoes how much they match the dress which i probably would never wear these with this because i think it's two different looks but i just had to show you these are my louboutin um Pigalle follies and these are actually very comfortable if you are looking or if you're in the market but um so this is the dress and i cannot remember i'll put the name of it down here it's the something mini i believe it's i can't remember right now but i just love it i think it's um so cute with the pockets it's a perfect length it's cute and sexy all at the same time and i just love it 
and these are the jeans that I was telling you about. They are the Cory, just like my dark ones, but in the natural. And I ended up having to roll them up because they're, you know, they're like long on me. Um, so you can roll, wear them all the way down. I'm looking forward to wearing them all the way down sometimes in the winter with boots. I think that would be cool looking. Or you can roll them up to wear with heels. But um, I don't know if you can tell. They're just like this. I mean, they're those kind of jeans that are just so soft. And several people got them at the party the other night. And um, see, they've got the distress, the distress at the bottom, but not too much. They're not as torn up as my current Elliot's. I like them even better. And I got my true size, which is um, 27. And the button fly, they're just awesome. So I'll wear these hopefully soon and show them to you. And so this is it for today. Okay, and another thing is, you know, there was the Sita Couture contest going on where so many of you sent in your pictures wearing your Sita Couture and Sita sent me a little video to put at the end of this to announce the winner. It is the neatest thing and you guys look beautiful in all of your maxi dresses, your leggings. I loved this so much. Just yesterday we had a photographer send some in to Instagram and just gorgeous and I think, I'm so glad that so many of you have tried this because I love how goodness <laughs> that's what I was just going to say I love how practical soft sexy machine wash it's just like everything wrapped up into one with her dresses and her clothes so I'll put that at the end of this video um, for accessories, I just have on, um, I have on these hoops that I got when I was in New York from Sheila, and I have them on my website. I can't remember the name, but it's the first time I've ever had them. So they're kind of like a um, thicker, kind of oval, but smaller hoop for those of you that want something a little bit smaller. And I have on these hoops, I can't remember the name, I'll put them right here. And um, I have on my Paris ring, and I think that's it. And then the same nail polish, which is Alpine, Snow, OPI, and Wet n Wild. Um, let's see, Mega Rocks. Yeah, Mega Rocks Glitter 494B over it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I sure hope I haven't left anything out. And I will probably see you tomorrow or Sunday. See you then. Bye-bye.